In this video, I would like to talk about apps and extensions. Apps or applications are things that uh, Google is starting to get more uh, or to get away from. So you're not going to see as many of those, but we're going to look at apps and we're also going to look at extensions. First of all, when you log in to Google, uh, we're going to go to at the top left corner to the apps here and you'll see that this is where all of the apps were stored and if you wanted to install an app or an extension you're going to go to the web store to do that so I'm going to click here and when it opens the web store you're going to notice that it is automatically defaulted to what Klein has um, approved for our Klein ISD students. And as you scroll through here, you will see all of the apps and extensions that Klein has approved for students to load onto their computers. Now teachers can search the web store and they can install any of the apps or extensions that they would like to put on there. But our students can only get what they see here. Now before you used to be able to search just by apps and just by extensions. I'm going to go back to the apps for just a minute and show you that um, a lot of these apps that we've now um, installed like PicMonkey for example. It used to be an app but I'll show you what's happening because client or excuse me no Google has started to get away from applications uh, and have changed them more to websites. So I'm going to click on PicMonkey and you're going to notice that it just launches the PicMonkey uh, website. So let's go back to apps. I believe I still have a few on here. So um, like number pieces. If I click this it launches an app and this is an application that you'll see it's not a website it's one and when I close it out it takes me back to my computer I've lost that I'm gonna go back to the apps here okay so apps or applications are things that launch a full program extensions just extend the functionality of the browser and they're found right along here you'll notice you can see them and I can put my cursor here and I can uh, I can't drag it because I can't go that way because I've got a lot of mine turned off but you can see you can slide this depending on how many you have now one important thing that you need to know I'm going to go back to oh, I want to go back to the first page here when I go to the store uh, and maybe I have installed a an extension and now I've started to notice that I'm having trouble with my computer. Now one good extension that you might want to put on is Extensity. I love Extensity. When I pop it up you can see I have a lot of extensions here but most of them are ghosted. What I like about Extensity is I can click and turn them all on or I can turn them on all off just by using this button here and so if I start to notice that I'm having difficulty on my computer because I'll give you an example just the other day I was trying to do something on a Google site I was trying to embed um, an, a video and I was unable to do so I came to Extensity I turned all my extensions off and lo and behold I was able to install that uh, or I could uh, embed that video. So if you start to have problems on your computer, one thing you might want to try is going to Extensity and turning them on or off. So notice here like I can turn Bitmoji back on, I can turn my color pick eyedropper on, and so as you saw when I clicked on that it was allowing me to turn them on, turn them off, and I can quickly just turn them off just as easily as I turned them on. So Extensity is a good extension that you may want to look at ex installing. So like I said, extensions, they don't necessarily launch a full program. As you noticed when I clicked on PicMonkey, it launched a whole program. Extensions 
just extend the functionality of the browser so they're not uh, going to launch these full programs. Okay, so that was our video on apps and extensions.